Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 11th of April 1961, the trial of Nazi SS Lieutenant Colonel Adolf Eichmann began in Israel. Eichmann was known as the architect of the final solution, the man who coordinated the transportation of Jews from across Europe to death camps in the East. At the end of the Second World War, Eichmann had fled Europe in an attempt to escape being tried for war crimes. Eventually arriving in Argentina with his family, he lived for a number of years under the assumed name Ricardo Clement. However, as one of the world's most wanted Nazi war criminals, the Israeli secret police, the Mossad, spent years tirelessly searching for him. After being given the tip-off that he may be in Buenos Aires, they eventually captured him and forcibly took him to Jerusalem to stand trial. With Eichmann sitting inside a purpose-built bulletproof glass booth, the trial lasted 16 weeks and exposed for the first time the extent of the atrocities that occurred in the Holocaust. Eichmann's main line of defence was that he was not personally involved with the killings and was just following orders. However, on the 15th of December 1961, the three judges hearing the case unanimously found him guilty of the 15 charges against him and sentenced him to death. Eichmann was executed by hanging six months later, his body cremated and his ashes scattered at sea.